Hello, this is Cleantech Business TV from first Empowering Women India Summit organized by Solar Business Club. We had a very interesting discussion and most importantly, we already discussed about some next steps, action plan. Yes? So for the first time we had a panel discussion with equal number of speakers because there is equality by default. And uh, we have together with us uh, Stalin Sharma who is uh, working for the first uh, network actually which is empowering women, especially in the startup space, yes? Uh, startups, but innovation generally. We, we have women who are working on policy innovation, w women who are working on financial innovation, several women who are working on climate bonds, and all sorts of other stuff, because we, we believe a lot of innovation is needed. And you have like a 150 women, yes? Uh, we have over 150 women now. We're growing by about 10, 15% a month. So, Rashi, uh, you know, we had this first empowering women in India summit and I would like to thank you yes because it was our actually first summit around the world yes and I would like to thank uh, Rashi because you know I was so busy with other events in Brazil etc and Rashi took care of everything so first question Rashi I would like to ask you are you satisfied and uh, did our meeting event summit uh, meet your expectations Yes, I'm absolutely satisfied with what, uh, how we carried out the event today and I'm very happy with the audience interaction as well and I think it overall it was a great show that we put up in such a short time. Bupendra, you were one of the you know, four guys joining the Empowering Women uh, panel discussion and um, actually what was your motivation you know, that you joined this uh, discussion? I'm from the family where I have five sisters, you know, uh, and uh, what I personally believe that uh, women have to be given equal, you know, we have to have equal opportunity to everyone and that's exactly the reason in my house itself, you know, uh, every uh, sister, uh, I have five sisters, so everyone have excelled in their respective fields and grown. So we have all grown and I have s never seen that, you know, uh, some kind of uh, discrimination happening. But in, this, uh, but in society, I think what uh, this is uh, the need of our, that you know, everyone should be having equal opportunity. And the purpose uh, of attending it was to convey that you know, as a society, you know, it's time that we start treating everyone equal. What was your idea to become an uh, entrepreneur and in such difficult and uh, seemed to be very complicated and boring you know, industry? Um, my entrepreneurship journey started with a symposium where it was challenging women that they are not, they are only meant for some submissive works and I said, I challenged and I said no, women can be good designers as well and that's where this whole uh, thing picked up and I started with very niche robotics where we were uh, starting to work with defense and government organizations. I slowly diversified into renewable energies and then I diversified into storage, into clean tech and I think it is not boring at all. If you love your work then it's even more interesting. So this would be your message to uh, young women who are now thinking about future, yes? Yes, the message I would like to give to young women is that follow your heart. You should not think of what others have to say. Just believe in yourself with full confidence. Go and get what you want. Just reach out for your own goal and I think you will be 100% successful. There is no way that anybody can stop you from achieving. I think that uh, clean tech and climate is just such a, a burgeoning field and I think that it's a really exciting field with a lot of really smart people and a lot of people that are very open-minded to the and, and supportive of the idea of having women. Um, here in India, we find that many of the leading organizations have women in their most senior roles across the organizations, and I think that uh, you know it, there are instances in which women join smaller companies and they don't see that. And very often, women are the ones that are you know really working hard, and they don't necessarily see each other. But there's a lot of women in this space. And women have so much value to add, whether it be on the science and technology side or whether it be around business development, understanding product and customer, and how do you take product and, you know, how do you join product and customer in a way that is going to be very meaningful, particularly since a lot of women are decision makers about 
How did you like, you know, the note of Professor Weber, yes, who uh, made incentives in order to get more more women, and afterwards these women brought him uh, more business. Women are very sincere and uh, hardworking, and uh, so if if you know it is automatically, you know, the results are going to come if if, if you know women are hardworking, uh, you know, and also very patient. So if these all properties are there, you know, in, uh, in individual. I think uh, definitely it is it is going to be excelling your company. And we do have, uh, you know, various departments. We do have uh, women employees. In fact, our corporate communication team is headed by uh, a woman. Uh, HR, uh, production planning, uh, you know, uh, your quality, supply chain. We have women all across. Even though in our factory, which is almost 50 kilometers outside, outskirts of a uh, city, still, you know, as, and as a company, we also provide transportation. So uh, I, I think it's very, very important uh, for our industry to have a mixed culture. Your company is not yet so big, yes? But maybe in the future it will be huge, yes? And uh, will you also empower, empower men? For example, when you become a chairwoman, would you give the position to men or you just reserve for women? No, I am talking of gender equality. So here, whenever my company goes global, I will make sure that there is equal representation from men and women because that is what is gender equality. I cannot say that I will reserve only for men or I will reserve only for women. It will be absolutely equal. And uh, it will depend on the skills, not of the gender, yeah? It has to be dependent on the skills because if you have the skills, you have, you, your gender doesn't matter. You will achieve it. You are not afraid that one day some women will take your post, your position? So I think that question was asked uh, by Rashi. See, what I feel is, you know, uh, it's fear, which actually drives you other way, you know. And when the mind is without fear, the head is held high, you know. So that's what Dr. Rabindranath Tagore also said. So I think it's all fear. The moment you feel that, you know, it's basically if you're, you're only giving reasons to something, you know. You need to be strong, you need to empower yourself and overcome any situation. I don't think that, you know, there is a discrimination or differentiation happening. If at all it is happening, you need to empower yourself and overcome that situation. Besides the fact that you agreed to cooperate with us, yes, how do you imagine that we make the next steps? Well, I think the event was really powerful. It's great to bring together a group of people who are from the business community to understand and share experiences around uh, climate and gender. I think that it was a brilliant finding or discussion that we had around how uh, climate technologies are becoming a business imperative and, and you know, we find that businesses that are using and adopting them are, are more successful. And we also discussed that businesses that have more women involved in the leadership roles are also more successful. And how sharing that information and, and moving towards parity is really going to get us closer to the society that's going to be better for all of us. Um, and along those same lines, the partnership that we were discussing around supporting women and supporting innovators um, in the Social Business Club is something that the, the Clean Tech Women's Innovation Network is ha really happy to, and excited to, to pursue. So we had some ideas, for example, to make uh, uh, our uh, cooperation uh, with uh, Stalin uh, on the startups, yes, yes, to encourage more women to create startups, yes. What do you think about this idea? Also about this global MBA to give some, maybe some incentive to women, yes, mm -hmm. to bring them in order to have even better business. What do you think about these ideas? And what would be also your suggestion for the club, you see, for the action? Uh, both these ideas are very good and uh, they have to be very judiciously implemented with thorough screening and implementation. For the club, I think we are going on the right direction. We just need to have more effective action plans and we need to make all the members effectively work towards it. Like from starting, which I did just today, I made him, uh, I have made Mazar change uh, the way he would introduce his wife. Oh. Yeah. So, that makes a first change and we all can start the change from ourselves. So for the club, I think each one of us should start contributing and making a change from ourselves first. Exactly. And we will continue in Abu Dhabi. Yes. yes. And our first global empowering women summit. And uh, now if uh, Rashi agrees, she will be in charge of organizing this summit. Oh, sure. Thank you so much. I would do the orders. Thank you so much. So you see, like uh, we can only be stronger working together cooperating together between men and women.
Tam za fusą.